Now, tickets for a newly opened monorail, the Walmi Sea Train, are selling out every day with passengers eager to take the train and visit tourist hotspots on Walmido Island. The island in Incheon, west of Seoul, has been named one of the top 100 must visit places in the country by the Korea Tourism Organization. Our Am Ji Young was there to give us a closer look. South Korea's longest urban tourist monorail, the Walmi Sea Train, stops at a number of popular attractions, including theme parks and streets full of cafes and seafood restaurants. According to an official from the Incheon Transit Corporation, roughly 1,400 people a day board the train on average. As it carries a maximum of 46 passengers per ride and only four or five trains operate every hour, the tickets tend to sell out quickly. We open at 10 a.m. and close at 6 p.m., but visitors come even before the service starts at around 9 and wait for two to four hours to ride the monorail. The two-car monorail loops around four stations, including Walmi Park entrance and Culture Street, at a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. This monorail service runs roughly six kilometers from Incheon Station to several places on Walmido Island. During their 35-minute journey around the circular route, passengers can get a great view of the coastal waters of Incheon as the raised track is as high as 18 meters in places. Passengers can also enjoy the famous view of the Walmido Island, including the silo wall painting, which holds the Guinness World Record for the largest outdoor mural in the world. I saw silo wall paintings, amusement parks, cruise ships, and the beautiful glow of sunset over the sea. It was a fun ride. Passengers can also get off and reboard the train to move from one spot to another on Walmido Island. I came all the way from Gwangmyeong City in Gyeonggi-do to visit Incheon. It was a fun ride and I took the train to Chinatown to have noodles with black soybean sauce and enjoyed the tour at Songwardong Fairytale Village. The construction of the monorail was mostly completed in 2009, but service only began in October of this year after a number of safety issues were rectified. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.